jam, jam, tune, to jam, jam, tune, to tune, to jam, tune, to tune, to jam, tune, jam, tune, jam, tune, jam. Hello and welcome once again to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm J-Man. And today we are talking about Tailspin, the um, Disney afternoon cartoon based upon the 1967 animated feature The Jungle Book. Uh, it first aired in 1990 and it was released I think two months after the film itself was uh -huh. re-released at the really? cinema. Yeah. Um, story goes, and it's quite a story, <laughs> that um, it was largely developed by writers Jim Magan, Magan, I'm not sure, and Mark Zaslov. Mm -hmm. Zaslov. Magan and sure, Zaslov. Um, were given, uh, basically just come up with a 30 minute pilot, anything. Mm. Um, they struggled to come up with anything that was that good mm. but then the jungle book was released and they thought why don't we do something about baloo yeah um they used they got the idea of the because it is a strange connection isn't it yeah. the whole flight thing uh, it's apparently it's partly to do with um the is it what's his name hayo maz what how do you say it? the you know the studio miyazaki hayo miyazaki's yeah. uh porco rosso right um, but his manga that he did before the film yeah and partially to do with the service that had been included in DuckTales the flight service oh right so I don't know if this is another one that is mm. in the DuckTales universe mm -mm. theories oh, about oh I'm sure of it but um, yeah that's where the idea came from mm. they sort of replaced Mowgli with a little actual cub mm instead so that they still had that relationship and it yeah. included louis as a main character yeah and uh Shere khan as well wasn't yeah. it uh quite frequently it's one of two jungle book themed cartoons mm. uh the other being uh jungle cubs uh -huh. i believe I'll just double check that's what it's called yeah jungle cubs which is like them when they were kids right so there you go that's a bit of a uh, background on yod tailspin there were 65 episodes as well oh just a heads up no bad so um yeah let's move directly to memoirs memories so memories do your memories span beyond the theme tune uh not really no <laughs> <laughs> i do uh, like i remember the intro re yeah. quite a lot but i remember the show mm. but i don't remember nothing nothing stands out as like no. oh that's from an episode yeah no just, I, I just don't remember a single can episode. just see Baloo in like a shirt I really remember the intro like the things mm. like someone throwing a pineapple through the p propeller and yeah. the rings going out onto that guy's face yeah. which is in the intro yeah that was like major nostalgia moment yeah. Like, oh yeah I remember yeah. that I think I've never been that into planes no neither have I so it was really like I love the Jungle Book it's my favourite yeah. like one of my favourite Disney films but the whole plane thing i remember jungle cubs better than yeah I do this but i do remember this it's it's there mm. sure i had a mcdonald's toy of it at some point yeah 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 i yeah. do vaguely remember it but it's like i say yeah i don't remember any episodes no nothing clear nothing no. clear in there so maybe i maybe that's because i didn't watch it or maybe that's because i didn't find it yeah like it wasn't really up my street so i think i think the planes were definitely uh, mm subtraction yeah, yeah they were for me okay well pretty dud on the memories so <laughs> always a bad thing though you know yeah. uh, no no nostalgia attached to it mm. so we can give it a completely fresh and honest review yeah so let's uh we're we're, we're covering uh episode 16 mm. her chance to dream her chance mm. to dream no her, her chance, chance to, to dream. dream. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's hit our playthrough. Rewind. Playthrough. In this episode, we open with um, the 
essentially like the I don't know if she's like the secretary or the, the well whatever. interestingly I was reading up about this um, she she's the manager of the delivery company that they yeah. work for she's actually based on a character from Cheers really yeah her name's Rebecca and she's yeah. based on Rebecca from Cheers all oh, right that's really weird yeah, yeah. well the manager of the company <laughs> uh, is like getting like basically burdened with all the customer calls coming through because Baloo is late on a delivery yeah um, he's supposed to be back from picking up some cargo and he hasn't returned and so she's frantically getting at the phones she's um, got papers piled on yeah it's it's all going out of control and she really wants Baloo to to hurry back um, whereas we see Baloo is just like having a good time at Louis which is like a, a bar run yeah. by King Louis another another quick fact that bar is based on the uh, bar from Casablanca really Mm -hmm. So they took a lot of stuff. They, from yeah, they definitely places. borrowed. You could tell they were on a deadline and really didn't have any <laughs> yeah. ideas. They just nicked everything. <laughs> but you know, it's made some original. Yeah, there you go. That's in its how, own sense, that's it, how it's you done. wouldn't say this is clearly a copy of anything. Yeah, that's it. That's how even it Jungle Book. <laughs> that's how it works. It's always just uh, chuck it in the blender, see what comes out. Yeah. Um, and so uh, Baloo's at Louis. Um, he's having just a good time, and then things kind of start kicking off things go mental and they somehow manage to open a they fall through the floor don't yeah they? into it and they find a treasure chest which kind of opens itself up and unleashes what seems to be some sort of spirit is the club in an old pirate ship yeah i think that's yeah, what it is yeah um, crashed on the island yeah that's right um and so like this sort of specter sort of picks up some masks and sort of gives them a bit of the spookies yeah. and uh, chases them out and then Baloo makes it back to um, to wherever their managing hut is. Yeah. Um, it is it's frightened at this point. She's convinced that he's just going to come in with an excuse. And obviously, ghosts just sounds ridiculous. Yeah. So um, he's like, "No, seriously, it was real." And Louis also equally a spook. Yeah. And he's like, "Well, we'll take you back there because they have to go back because they didn't come with the cargo." Anyway. Yeah, they left the cargo there. They left um, it so frantically. Yeah. Um, and they bring Rebecca with with them leaving the little cub girl behind who's uh, her they do daughter. reference a babysitter at some point yeah but. um and uh, so she she goes back like to try and look at the ghost which makes no appearance while they're actually inside louis no. and she's very upset um and as they're leaving she she encounters like some another like character who just turns up out of nowhere yeah who's like a he's like a is he like a lion like a or something 19th century sea captain lion. yeah with a sword yeah and he's he's very gentlemanly and very polite to her yeah and they sort of hit it off pretty much almost instantly yeah. um they baloo and louie try and sort of head off into it like there's there's lots of back and forth between the plane and louis and they essentially try and leave but they can't because the plane seems to be grounded for some reason everything's gone wrong with it nothing works so in the meantime um she's she that they decided to stay there the night she's going to stay in the plane they're going to stay in Louis because Baloo's snoring is too loud apparently yeah um and so um but things happen she can't s sleep so she ends up going for a little stroll with um this new guy that's turned up who seems to be swept her off her feet yeah and then things kind of go ethereal from there and sooner or later they're flying in a giant ship in the sky yeah and like she's convinced it's all a dream but he's trying to tell her that it's actually real and she, yeah. they could live a life together um but baloo and louis have got other ideas they use a spell book to try and cast him away or yeah whatever. they discover that he's the like uh, his the truth of him yeah this yeah the spirit was trapped in the, the under the, the ship the or ship, whatever yeah, he's Louis. the old captain and yeah um and so they basically try and um get rid of him and they try and get rebecca to come to her senses because they're like you can't do this you've got a kid at home or whatever yeah. so then it becomes very adult very quickly and she decides that she's got to uh, look after her daughter and then basically gives up on the dream yeah. and then goes back and sort of tells her tells it as like a lullaby almost or whatever like with a, tears a story. streaming yeah. down her face there was once a man and he loved a lady and blah 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 and uh, yeah that, that's pretty much the end of the episode yeah to jam <laughs> to jam mm. okay so um her chance to dream mm. that was it in a nutshell yeah um 
yeah, let's uh, let's begin with um, its relationship to the Jungle Book. <laughs> yes, um, I know we've briefly touched on it, mm. but so um, basically, there's Baloo. Yeah, there's it's, a... like it's got the characters. Yeah, but in a completely different scenario. No, it's one of them where it just. It's like an alternate universe. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. It's weird that they... it always confused me as a kid, to be honest. Yeah. Because I was like, why? Why is he flying a plane now? Yeah, like, yeah. What's that going to do? Where? Did they even? They didn't know what fire was before. Yeah, yeah. Like, and now he's got a plane. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Maybe this is it. Maybe they. <laughs> maybe, like in the Jungle Book Two. Hmm. Moga gives him fire. Wow. Oh. And then, like their industrial revolution happens yeah, in a blink. Yeah, completely. <laughs> <laughs> they got planes, they got islands, they got tiki bars. That's it. Oh man. Yeah, just straight in. Yeah. No messing around. Um, Louis, voiced by Jim Cummings again. Yeah. Who you can't move in a Disney cartoon without no. hearing him somewhere. That's it. Apparently, but he did. He was quite good, Louis. Actually, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he is good. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. Yeah. I thought blue. I thought the voice, the voices were actually quite good. Blue yeah. sounded like blue as well. You yeah. Know, usually you get like some half-hearted right? efforts yeah. of like impressions, but mm. they're quite good. Uh, the animation, I mean, all, all the Disney cartoons from this era were well animated. I think. Yeah. Um, the ghost stuff mm. was a bit tedious. Yeah. Want it? Yeah, like definitely. Um, and I don't understand how they didn't see the giant looming painting of him when they fell into no. the boat but I suppose you wouldn't be looking for it yeah but, but yeah it didn't really but even when they fell in the second time and they were like yeah. Louis got trapped in the chest and yeah. it's where they discover about him it's not until they've like they've already they've seen this guy a few times they're really yeah. hating on him because he's like stealing their manager away as they yeah. keep saying um, but there is a massive picture of him in the room that yeah. they just don't notice at all very weird yeah which that she then puts up in her house at the end, which... <laughs> yeah which is a bit <laughs> equally as weird yeah <laughs> it's uh i mean the emotions at the end mm. quite heavy i didn't expect it to yeah. go there considering the first half yeah it was it got very like i don't know it, it was a very weird moral story for a different caliber of people by the end of the it was show, weird wasn't wasn't it? It? Like, like two halves to, yeah uh, to, yeah. the, to the story so yeah, one minute it's like oh there's ghosts and, ha -ha, yeah. and just uh, yeah whatever and then the next minute it's just like you're an adult now you've got yeah. responsibilities you have a child yeah like your dreams are gone crushed well, like all the stuff <laughs> with like, Baloo yeah. and Louie was quite fun yeah but then whenever it cut to theirs it was like yeah heavy yeah and then it sort of tried to mix them at the end mm. and it just made Baloo and Louie come off as like jerks yeah yeah but i like the whole bit where they're looking for that they're on the ship with them yeah looking for the magic book and yeah you keep saying spells that are like zigzag <laughs> yeah i'll rhyme with you yeah sort of thing um so and the the actual guy the ghost guy was pretty funny as well he yeah was just the, like, the gentleman yeah it's the so gentlemanly ghost. it's just like <laughs> I don't know how you spend your time with these with these buffoons, <laughs> yeah, these <Yeah>. rogues. <laughs> well, they are my friends. Yeah. It's like, well, my my apologies or my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, ha -ha, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, really, like, he's definitely like a ten in her eyes. Like, she yeah. instantly like falls for him straight yeah, away. Like, like, the gr like basic captain bird's eye yeah, <laughs> yeah. with his weird looks beard just like a lion version of captain yeah. bird's eye with a beard that sort of goes to a point and then tips upward yeah so it yeah. becomes like an yeah like, like a, a reverse tickler. peak yeah tickle on the bottom of the <laughs> chin with it hello hello tickle, tickle. <laughs> that's really weird um, but yeah there's lots of like nautical gags and stuff yeah. all the way through it i did like i liked louis mm. i thought he was the best thing in it yeah him and him and Baloo were both pretty good. Yeah. Baloo comes off as a bit not quite sexist, but mm. old fashioned. Yeah. You know, he just seems old fashioned for yeah. the time. Um Yeah. Yeah, just sometimes I know what bit, you mean. Like yeah. there's like there's one bit where he's I can't remember what he said, he's like dissing her for something. 
I can't remember, it's outside the bar. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, women here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and it feels a bit like, right, even know. then, that was a bit old-fashioned yeah. and sort of thing. Yeah. I, but I it's did, not too heavy on it. It's just, no. There's just the odd it's bit where you like, yeah. blue comes off as a bit of a bit of a one. Yeah, it's, well, I think this, this whole episode is just showing that they're not quite gentlemen yeah. enough, are they? Like, but that's the trouble, it makes you, it almost makes you dislike them a bit. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. It doesn't a, really hit where it's meant to. Yeah. And um, it's, uh, there was one bit that uh, I thought was a good uh, Thundercats reference, where <laughs> where the uh, he uses the sword to like summon the ships and stuff yeah. like that, and he just like holds it above his head. I thought that was funny that he was yeah. a cat and he was like using that, and I was like, maybe oh. it was. I mean, and then you've, it you've beams up into the yeah. references from everything else. Apparently. Yeah, exactly. So and they, so they were just like, yeah, Thundercats. Oh! Let's go. I know that's all. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was missing. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, imagine that if they just did that. That's the real hilarious. deal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, I mean, it's weird. It had like we talked about Ducktales the other week. Mm. It almost had the same ending. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. With like the main character sort of with tears down their face. Yeah. Just and it was just like gutted. watched two yeah cartoons of the same. I mean, obviously Ducktales is not the same era, but it's yeah. based on a show of the same era. Yeah. With the same ending. That's it. Yeah. Um, it ends on think, a low note. Yeah, the emo the emotions weren't as heavy in no. this. They were still there though. Mm. Um, I still thought it did that quite well. It's, it was nice to see them taking something seriously. Yeah. Even if it didn't land as well as they perhaps hoped. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I, mm. I didn't think. Um, in the way it did it. Yeah. Um, and it was funny. I was laughing. Yeah. It went quite quickly. Um, the perhaps the love story was a bit yeah dragged out but then that might be just because i wasn't interested in it mm. there might have been people watching that were yeah just not really my scene i suppose so yeah you have to remember yeah. that as well um but yeah shall we go to our ratings yeah okay so here at toon jam we have a three point rating system thumbs up zoob zoob <laughs> You know what you do. Mm -hmm. Thumbs down. You mm. guys are just not gentlemen. No. Shaky middle. Not really quite sure what this ghost's intentions are. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Bad. Okay. Mm. So. Your thoughts. Well, um, for me, um, the subject matter alone is uh, very upsetting. <laughs> um it's it's the aviation i don't yeah. really get with it's not even modern aviation so no it's like a so no it's like a throwback era plane like a, nostalgia yeah, sort of, that's just yeah like, old school rotary yeah. plane business so i can't even get on board with the tech there no it's like it's just not, oh. like an indiana jones type yeah era i suppose that's jungly isn't it yeah to a degree but. um the, this episode was uh, lots of romance which is yeah. again not on my street um the ghostly stuff was it wasn't it wasn't spooky ghost it wasn't stuff. spooky it was so just like it was, i mean even the ghost was like a pink sprinkly thing yeah wasn't it? so it was just like an apparition of a, a guy that was a gentleman he was very english and very formal which yeah. again isn't really up my street <laughs> <laughs> no. um and so basically there wasn't really there wasn't really anything that I, I i was sort of attached to that was like oh yeah this is fun yeah i mean there was like the the odd few lines from like maybe louis or something that was that yeah. made me laugh but because uh, like he kept saying cuz as well yeah which i was like which oh, he, yeah it's yeah, like yeah throw back to that's the it film, i suppose and i was like yeah that's pretty cool i it made me wonder like i wonder if he's a crip because that's like yeah. what they say <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if he was in maybe, a gang yeah maybe you never, you never know. know um but yeah so basically none of it was really for me and f like when i was watching it it felt lengthy for me mm. like it felt it felt like when the when the first part ended and they'd kind of like she, basically once they first met the guy and she'd walked yeah. away i thought that was the end of the episode <laughs> yeah because i was like oh boy that dragged in it yeah yeah so there was it wasn't a lot of it and then even towards the end the the moral as well i thought was a bit like it was kind of weird because it's like essentially 
she spent this whole time and just forgot she even had a daughter yeah. that's kind of not really touched on the subject that she just dismissed her the, yeah. the whole time anyway so she was literally she did fly think it up. was a dream for a long time though yeah that's true so but she, yeah i suppose there's that yeah, yeah. but yeah essentially she was she was ready to fly off with ghosty yeah. boy and then just oh, leave yeah. a kid with a babysitter perpetually yeah. so so for me it was uh it was quite hard going so i'm gonna have to go with a thumbs down a thumbs down thumbs down interesting mm. um um yeah i do think parts dragged i think overall it was um it was funny characters were good i did feel like they did them a certain injustice mm. just to develop the plot a bit i didn't i felt like by the end of it Baloo and Louie didn't come off that great. No. Which is a problem. Yeah. But I did think the handling of the sort of having your dreams and your responsibilities sometimes have to take precedent mm. over them. It's quite a mature subject for a yeah. cartoon. They didn't do it in a way that necessarily made you feel like, oh, you know kids are going to be like upset watching this yeah. or kids are going to be like what the hell's going on mm. um so i think it was brave to tackle that especially at the time they did yeah um it's a tough one i didn't i didn't feel like it went went on too long but it did drag a little bit mm. i feel like maybe a different episode yeah maybe would could have, have been it. better but at the same time it might not have done because mm. this seemed like it this seemed like a good example like a good yeah this is well rated. made episode almost yeah. i'm probably i'm not a thumbs down mm. i'm i'm on the edge as often <laughs> as i am um but i am gonna get a shaky middle yeah there's room for improvement yeah but it, i didn't think it was terrible by any means mm. um i liked aspects of it i still I like, I, even though it's i think because i'm thinking like just you know just the intro how mm. many planes there are in the intro yeah that's what makes me think this episode's probably a better example because yeah. i don't want to see loads of planes yeah i'm not i'm not up for playing hijinks <laughs> yeah all the time so yeah yeah i'm a shaky middle too yeah well thought, not too but yeah 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 i thought that might be the case but yeah it just it just doesn't really have it's a, a weird it's a me. weird concept yeah i don't know how well we know how and, they literally yeah. just like scrambled no a bunch idea, of yeah. yeah it's just like yeah but almost at the same time fair play to him for trying it yeah yeah that's sort of the idea like at least it's something different that's it yeah even if it's most just stuff using... doesn't get done yeah, yeah. It's, all right, so. it's so, something there we go hmm. um a thumbs down and a shaky middle yeah. you never know what you're going to get with these uh that's disney it. afternoon shows do you that's it that's well it. i see now why i don't remember anything past the intro yeah because it just wasn't for me i mean what's left we've done ducktales mm -hmm. we've done tailspin mm -hmm. we've done gummy bears yeah we've done winnie the pooh yeah goofy yeah the goofy one goof troop goof troop and then like what mighty ducks or something oh yeah stuff like that so we'll visit them at some point no doubt um but yeah what did you think let us know on the um three propellers of the social media circuit uh facebook instagram and twitter at toonjam pod yes and um you know if you liked what you heard please feel free to give us a rate and review it really helps us out majorly um otherwise until next time i guess there's only one thing to say stay jammy Hey everyone, thank you for listening to Toon Jam. And if you want to continue to help us out, you can help us by jumping over to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash toonjampod. And if you can rate and review us everywhere you listen to your podcasts, so on iTunes or on the Android apps, that'd be a massive help too. Thank you. And stay jammy.